It's March 19th all day, and these historical events occurred on March 19th, this day in history. In 1863, the Confederate cruiser SS Georgiana is destroyed on her maiden voyage with a car... In 1863, the Confederate cruiser SS Georgiana is destroyed on her maiden voyage with a cargo of munitions and medicines valued over $1 million. The wreck is discovered exactly 102 years later by teenage diver and pioneer underwater archaeologist E. Lee Spence. In 1911, the first International Women's Day sees over 1 million men and women attend rallies in Austria, Denmark, Germany, and Switzerland. Issues discussed included women's right to vote and to hold public office, the right to work, to vocational training, and an end to discrimination on the job. Girl power approved. I'll say it again, you're going to get tired of hearing of it, but in 1915, the planet Pluto, planet, see, that's a planet, is photographed for the first time, although unknown at the time, it's still photographed for the first time and it's still a planet. In 1918, the U.S. adopts the Standard Time Act of 1980, also known as the Calder Act, a federal law implementing standard time and daylight saving time, losing hours, gaining hours and defining five time zones for the United States. In 1920, the U.S. Senate rejects the Treaty of Versailles for the second time, refusing to ratify the League of Nations Covenant and maintaining a policy of isolation for the United States. You see, it's not the president that determines treaties, it's the Senate. Read the Constitution. The president doesn't have that much power. In 1931, Nevada legalizes gambling no duh. And in 1954, the first rocket-driven sled on rails is tested in New Mexico. It's not that this really had anything to do with anything in history. I just like watching this happen. In 2002, the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan, Operation Anaconda, ends. It started on March 2nd, if you remember that back then when we talked about that. After killing 500 Taliban and Al-Qaeda fighters, with 11 Allied troop fatalities. And exactly on this date a year later in 2003, airstrikes by an American and British-led coalition signaled the beginning of the invasion of Iraq without United Nations support in defiance of world opinion. And in 2019, American Karen Ollenbeck becomes the first woman to win the Mathematics Able Prize since it was started in 1899. Good job, and this is Girl Power Approved. When it comes to a battle of wits, you'll have the victory when you subscribe to my channel for this date in history. Like, share, subscribe, plus check out those comments below and contribute for even more March 19th history. See ya!